Welcome to the kitchen, everybody. This is really a fun little idea for an afternoon snack or a quick and easy dinner idea. It's so easy to put together. Starting off with just some chopped onions that I'm going to saute. And I'm creating some tostadas. These are so good. I, you know, I've said before, everybody should just have corn tortillas in their refrigerators and use them because you can make chips out of them. You can make tacos, obviously, enchiladas. You can do tostadas, all these delicious little ideas. And we're gonna actually use uh, these fried corn tortillas there to create up kind of, this is kind of like a tostada with chicken and salsa and everything delicious, but a little bit different, a little simpler. Once this starts sauteing, you're gonna get this wonderful fragrance coming from it. Add in some garlic as well to it with the onion, and you wanna take them till they're about translucent. Meanwhile, I'm using some prepared uh, pico de gallo, and I'm going to add it into my beaker here and create kind of a tomato sauce emulsion with it and some yummy adobo chipotle peppers. Those you just simply buy at the grocery store, Right in the Mexican food aisle, I want the adobo kind because they do have a delicious smoky flavor to them, which is so good. So we're gonna add in our pico de gallo, which has the cilantro, it has onion and garlic also. Here is our adobo peppers, which you can just add in to taste, really into there, and then take an immersion blender and you're going to blend these all up. And while we're waiting for just a second, I have some shredded chicken that I'm gonna add into our saute pan, and I'm gonna get it warming up in there as well. The shredded chicken is fully cooked, so make sure that it is fully cooked. All right, I'll keep working here in the kitchen. When we come back, we'll finish it all up. Welcome back to the kitchen, everybody. Let's finish up these delicious chicken tingas. They're so easy and fun. This is what I love about Mexican cuisine. It's always delicious, it's always fresh, and generally it is so simple to put together. That's why it's just fun and delicious, and I think that's why everybody loves it. Here is the shredded chicken and the sauce that we made earlier. I've cooked it all together here, brought it up to a simmer, let it simmer for just about 10 minutes, and I have my tostadas here that we created, basically the, the deep fried corn tortillas, and I'm just using uh, ones that I have in the fridge. I always have corn tortillas here in the house because I use them with so many varieties of things. So once we get that onto there, we're gonna add on some chopped lettuce on top of it. And this is kind of my little rendition. If you have other renditions that you like to do with this, perfectly fine too. That's gonna be great and delicious. And then because we do have some heat, in here with the adobo peppers in the chipotle sauce, that nice little smoky flavor. We're gonna add something to it that's gonna help cool it down. And if you didn't realize, dairy is your friend when it comes to really hot, spicy foods. If you have a hot, spicy food, you need to include dairy with it because what it does is helps to cool down that hot, spicy burn that you get inside when you eat hot, spicy foods. We're gonna top that off with a little bit of yummy sour cream. And that is it, folks. How easy and delicious and simple is that? A little bit of tomato puree, puree with some adobo sauce in there, some shredded up chicken, onions and garlic simmered for just about 10 minutes, topped off on a nice deep fried corn tortilla. Head on over to KUTV.com or cookingwithchefbrian.com for the recipe.